welcome Lighthouse family to another month of home group teachings on The Circle Maker. I hope that these have blessed you, stirred your passions, and caused you to dive deeper into your prayer life. I would like to first start off by sharing a story with you about a man who broke the law. This man, when he was just a teenager, was ripped from his home, from his family, from everything he knew and loved, and was forced to travel over a thousand miles to a place where he would be forced to serve the government. When he finally arrived to this new place, he found the culture to be very repelling because they worshiped and served many different gods. This man was dedicated to the one true God and was determined not to let the culture persuade him. He made sure that he kept his spirit strong and by keeping God at the forefront of his life and praying three times a day and crying out to the Lord for his will to be done in the land. This man knew that if God was going to bring about a miracle, then he needed to be praying to see it happen. And even when praying to God was made illegal in the land, he said it in his heart that God came before man and any law that was given. He was then set to face the worst torture the government could imagine. So they threw this man into a pit with starving and ravenous lions. However, because of his devout faith and trust in the Lord, he was saved. If you have not realized by now, this story is about Daniel from the Bible. This next section of The Circle Maker is all about not ceasing to pray, even when those prayers become long and boring prayers. Daniel is a great example of knowing how to pray with fervency and urgency, even when those prayers are long and boring. What do I mean by long and boring prayers? Are those God-sized dreams that you may not see in your lifetime, but you know these prayers will go on to change the trajectory of generations to come. These are carob tree prayers. Carob trees require patience on the part of the planter because it takes years before any fruit is produced but the harvest of the carrot tree can be enjoyed for 80 to 100 years after it is planted. Our carrot tree plant prayers may be prayers that God has given us a burden for, and we begin to pray with fervency and urgency, and what we pray for for years will be used to bless others for generations to come. When God gives us a burden, we must be willing to plant that burden and continue to water it with our prayers Praying through is long and boring, but it is the price we pay for miracles. Prayers like these help us to see God's heart for the future and help to move our perspective from internal realities to eternal opportunities. I wanna leave you with this quote from Mark Batterson to hopefully give you the encouragement to continue circling those God-sized dreams and continue with those long and boring prayers for the generations to come. Mark says, we live in a culture that overvalues 15 minutes of fame and undervalues lifelong faithfulness. Maybe we have it backward, just as our greatest successes often come on the heels of our greatest failures, our greatest answers often come on the heels of our longest and most boring prayers. Wow, so true and so powerful. Let us never grow tired of our lifelong faithfulness to pray through those God-sized burdens, even when the answers do not come easy and do not come quick. Let me pray a blessing over you before we go. Father, right now, I pray over every single person that is watching this video. I pray that they would hear those God-sized burdens and prayers that you're giving them, even though it may take years to see the blessing, even though what they are praying right now is not just for them, but for generations to come. Do not let us grow weary of our lifelong faithfulness, because you that we serve, no man, no fame, but it is you and you alone. I hope this has blessed you. Now spend some time with your group going over the discussion questions. Be blessed.